Hey, hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Sonar Cloud with GitLab for efficient code scan. Here we're going to see how we can configure the GitLab repositories so that they you know the, the as, as the code in the you know, GitLab repository gets updated or, or get being developed, you know, you need to have a certain solution in the GitLab, which will you know, automatically scan the code sanity and help us to achieve the you know the uh, uh, you know the required efficient code scanning right so here i'm going to use a sonar cloud how to integrate you know the sonar cloud with gitlab for for efficient you know code scan okay so that's what the aim here so the flow of this demo would be something like this right so we have a gitlab account on that gitlab account we're going to create a repository which is dedicatedly for this uh, session purpose and then we're going to see like you know how to configure on the sonar cloud side as well like how to create an organization required for so you know the GitLab, and from there how to configure the you know the uh, the GitLab group as well, and then the repositories underneath that group could be you know automatically identified. So okay, so all those configurations we're gonna see on the Sonar Cloud side, and then finally how to integrate between these two with using the you know the GitLab action files. Yeah. All right. So here the developer will be developing the code as soon as the you know as the day goes on. You know the, the software keeps on um, you know the software code keeps on changing. And you need to have a solution which will actually make you know keeps the sanity on these codes with respect to the you know the the best practices with respect to the you know the security and and with respect to the you know the the uh, basically uh, the other bugs right so in in the code so all these uh, you know the checks would be you know delivered by sonar cloud itself right so that is what we're going to see in this demo here right so basically whenever the source code is you know uh, is being pulled or, or pushed into this gitlab repository we will have automated you know the scanning being integrated with the sonar cloud which will help us to give the results something like this okay which will tell you like what are the possible vulnerabilities you know what are the hot spots in the in the code you know the the code smells right code coverages duplications everything will be automatically scanned by the sonar you know sonar cloud sonar cloud does does support you know wide huge variety of uh, you know the the programming language which you can scan through yeah all right so here i have already logged into my gitlab account so this is my free gitlab account so in that one i have created a repository so if i go to the uh, my gitlab.com page uh, currently i have these many repositories so in that one i just now created a repository called gitlab hyphen sonar cloud yeah so this gitlab repository i have dedicatedly created for this demo purpose right so in that one i have created the dot gitlab hyphen dot ci dot yaml file and then I have created an example Python code folder where I kept one example, you know, Python file so that we can show you that, you know, it does scan out of that. Yeah. And then we have a sonar project properties configuration file, right? And then the readme.md file. Yeah. All right. So this is what, you know, I have did for, I have did on the GitLab side for the first time. Yeah. Okay. So now we will, um, you know, so with this, what we do is we're going to jump to the, uh, uh, you know, to the sonar cloud side and we're going to see how we can integrate this uh, you know this uh, particular gitlab uh, source code particular gitlab you know repository in the sonar cloud and from there we can you know do a required uh, you know the code scan yeah so to do that you know what you have to do is you have to go to a site called sonarcloud.io and then once you, you know so for example like this okay I'm, let me uh, let me just hit enter so if you hit like sonarcloud.io basically it will take you to here there is a login button click on that and then once login pages comes it has multiple options github gitlab bitbucket azure devops yeah so i did another video on github you can watch the another video where i have created you know how to scan the rep source code present on the github with using the sonar cloud now this is the session for gitlab so i'm gonna choose the gitlab as well so it's automatically redirects to to my you know the gitlab account okay so for the first time when you are trying to um Say, you know, for the first time when you are trying to create the, uh, you know, the account for GitLab, it might ask you to provide the, you know, the user ID and, and credentials required to log in your GitLab dot account. Yeah, maybe that is basically, uh, you know, uh, it could be GitHub based authentication or it could be, you know, social authentication provider or it could be your email ID and password to log in. Yeah. All right. So once that has been done, so this is the landing page of the Sonar Cloud. And this is how it looks. If I go to the projects, this is the place where you configure the organizations underneath the sonar cloud underneath the organization so so the the organization is a is a big huge you know the the root container underneath that you know we're going to create the projects as the as the, you know the the a piece of components or a piece of repository which will be scanned by the uh, by the sonar cloud yeah all right so 
for 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 now what i do is i'm going to show you that you know currently i don't have any organization so i need to create an organization and that organization has to be equally mapped to my gitlab account and to this one basically whatever the uh, the organization that i'm going to create in the sonar cloud should be equally mapped to the this structure that is basically here is a root container is is my this is my profile and then underneath that root container i have a repository something like this if i go back to the uh, to the gitlab.com so the underneath that one so this is the gitlab.com and i this is the uh, basically this is my profile underneath that profile you know so the the the, the first first uh, the keyword is nothing but you know it tells your organization or the group of repositories so underneath that so this is my group of repositories underneath that i have multiple uh, private and public repositories so if i show you so i have a uh, two private and and two public repositories so basically sonar cloud provide scanning of both kind of repositories whereas the public repository is can be scanned freely but whereas to scan the private repositories you need to pay or you need to subscribe the you know the uh, the paid versions of the you know of the um, of the sonar cloud project okay, which i'm going to show you right away so what we're going to do is i'm going to show you right now you know so we are here right so what we need to do the configuration that i'm going to show you click on analyze new project and then you know click on the import new organizations and then say you know import from my personal um, you know per import my personal gitlab group okay so when you click on this one which means that you know you are telling hey import my personal gitlab group repositories like that it means yeah so here it is, will be asking you to give the a personal access token okay to create a personal access token from the gitlab you need to do something like this okay so to create a personal access token that is pack token you need to go to the your profile so here this is my profile i'm gonna go to that profile and then from there you know so you're gonna go to the uh yeah so yeah so here you're gonna go to the um uh yeah let me go back so basically you're gonna go to the uh edit profile from the profile go to the edit profile okay not like that so let me reiterate again so um for example say if i go back so this is your base okay so from here you can again click here and there is a edit profile you can click on that edit profile and automatically if you see in the left hand side there is an option called um, you know access token so click on the access token so here you can create a personal access token of of gitlab right so for now i have already created a personal access token something like this to create a personal access token what you can do is you can add the name say like test and then expiry date could be chosen and here for the sonar cloud purpose we have to choose select the scope scope should be api yeah and then click on a grant personal access token just click on this one so it will show you that you know this this is your personal access token has been created okay and then what you have to do is you have to copy this and take it in a form of a notepad plus plus so just i'm going to just copy here uh, in the in the notepad plus plus yeah all right so these are my two pat uh, you know the uh, uh, you know the, the personal access token yeah that is pat token generally yeah? that is that generally called as a pat right now i have a two pack token i'm going to delete the other one yeah so we're going to retain the latest one created that is a test one right so you can see the list of pack tokens created on your uh, on your gitlab yeah and then we're going to go back to the again to the gitlab root container and then from there you can go to the groups that is this is my group underneath that group we are interested on gitlab hyphen sonar cloud project okay so underneath that also i have showed you that you know these are all the files and folder we're going to see what we need to keep in a gitlab dot gitlab hyphen dot yaml file in a second okay but before that let's complete the configuration that we need to maintain on the sonar cloud yeah so we have chosen import my personal gitlab group right so while you're doing that you know it was asking you um uh, so basically you know if i do so it was asking you a path token which we created just now we need to put that so i'm going to put this and automatically you know the sonar cloud will identify you know so what is the you know the group of the uh, particular path token yeah so basically this path token it, it identified on hey this path token is belongs to the this group of gitlab right so let it the the name, name of the particular would be let it be like this and this one you can change the key as per your requirement so what is this key in the sense so it will uh, the sonar cloud will create a container or or a, a, a root container underneath that it will going to create a a keys keys is nothing but that key will be pointing to a particular repository so in this case what we are going to do is i'm going to tell like you know sonar cloud i will just say sonar cloud scan so i will say sonar cloud 
yeah so it it is it it should be unix so we'll say like um uh, demo okay so it does not it does not take the syntax so i'm just going to give the uh, basically a sonar cloud uh, you know let me say like cloud uh, my channel name yeah? that is a cloud quick labs cloud uh, quick labs sonar cloud yeah all right so this is the our key name which i have desperately provided i didn't provide it equivalent to my uh, my repo name but you can do that yeah you can do the both one so for the best understanding purpose you know i'm recommend you to give uh, the name equivalent to the your repo name under the gitlab yeah and after that you know you need to choose the plan so basically you have a play, paid plan if you want to go for the paid plan you can go through this one by providing your you know credit card details and all but in the free plan which is i'm showing in this demo you don't need to pay anything which is zero right and then finally with these options you can just click on create organization so with that you know you will be able to you know so create the required organization yeah so gitlab so what did you do is you have given permissions to sonar cloud so that it can scan your um, uh, gitlab account and scan your uh, gitlab group as well uh, under the gitlab account you have a groups underneath that groups whatever the list of repository will be present so those all repository will be listed here if i go back to the my um, gitlab uh, uh, container so in that one i have these uh, groups uh, so if i go to this groups so if i go to the groups in that one i have uh, uh, you know basically i didn't create a group yeah uh, underneath the uh, uh, yeah so underneath these so i have these many uh, repository which is getting listed here and this makes you know the clear think to you that you know yes indeed you have made a connection to the sonar cloud with the gitlab yeah all right so right now as you know as i said we cannot scan private repositories with the free you know account but to scan the public repository you need to um, yeah so you need to you need to use public repository when you have a free plan so here our aim was to scan the gitlab hyphen sonar cloud repository yeah all right so with this configurations we are good enough so i will go back to the um, uh, uh, to the my um, my account let me refresh it we should see our organization getting populated here if i go to the organization so we have this organization yeah and here you can have the analyze a new project so what you have to do is you need to once you have created the organizations after the organizations is been created you just go and and refresh the session and then click on the you know the um, click on your uh, you know so yeah click on your organizations and there you see the project quality profile rules right so these are all the default configurations of the sonar cloud uh, subscriptions quality gates members right so with this you know you are done with the configurations right so what we have to do is so when you have completed the creation of the uh, sonar cloud organizations the uh, you know the creation of that will automatically help you to do the further configuration right say that you know you need to set up the um, uh, this repository right so what you have to do is select that particular repository and set you know click on a setup so once you click on that automatically the 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 guidelines okay so it will automatically provide you the guidelines yeah so it is asking you which method you are choosing to analyze the repository right so it says you know gitlab csd pipeline or with the amazon code catalyst with the ci other tools right or manually so here we are interested with the gitlab csd right and once you click on that one so this will tell you like a, a spoon feeding one in the sense it just like you know I'm, I'm just telling like a spoon feeding one we just have to follow these step number one two one two yeah and we're gonna go from the top so basically analyze your project with the gitlab csd pipeline first one add the environmental variable so we need to add this environmental variable on the project on the repository that we created to do that i'm gonna go to the settings so in the settings you go to the cicd click on cicd and go to the variables here so click on expand I have already created those uh, tokens and the and the host URL, so I'm going to edit it right in front of you. Click on host URL. So if you see here, there is a second define the Sonar Cloud host URL. So I'm going to copy this URL, right, and then paste it here. And then here you don't need to. So you make sure that you uncheck the protected variable, uncheck the mask variable, keep the reference variable as it is, and just click on a save or updated, and then go to the Sonar token. So for the sonar token it will ready-madely give you a new token so which you can copy from here and then create an environmental variable with this name that is uh, sonar token and, and in this one so just like uh, copy paste the values make sure that you know you have you have to check these flags that is protected variable mask variable should be checked and click on updated yeah so with this configurations basically you are completed the you know adding the environmental variable let's go to step number two
And the step number two tells, you know, hey, you want to create a file with the name lock dot gitlab hyphen ci dot yaml file, which is nothing but, you know, the workflow file of the gitlab. So you go to the uh, code, basically. So I'm going to go to the code, go to the repositories. As I said earlier, I have already created a, you know, gitlab dot dot gitlab hyphen ci dot yaml file, which looks something, something similar like, you know, yeah. So basically when you choose your repository after creation of organization, the GitLab itself will prepare the, the steps for you or the, the content of the particular file will be are dynamically populated. Yeah. So this is the same file which I have created here. Let me go through this one. So here it will tell you know, so these are the dynamic uh, environmental variable that is um, sonar user home, uh, you know, get depth. And then this is the, you know, the, this is the job which we actually, actually been run on the, on the image and the cache and the script and the main. Yeah. So we're going to see this one. So basically, as you know, the GitLab will try to, you know, run the, uh, you know, the particular uh, job on a particular uh, image version. Okay. So here, sonar source, sonar scanner hyphen dot CLI is latest is the, is the image which will, it will clone and, and create a, you know, maybe it backend, maybe it is creating a pod and, and, you know, helping us to do the, you know, the, the required CICD job, right? And the entry point, you're going to give this value as it is. And then in the cache, we're going to give these information as it is because they are all syntaxes. And in the path, you know, you're going to give this path. Yeah. In the script sonar, you know, so the sonar script configuration, just give the script something like this hyphen sonar scanner. And in the main, okay. So in the only, you need to choose the, you know, the merge request. And the, in the branch, you're going to choose a branch which you have here. So the, right now, I have only one branch, main branch, but you can append the ban, you know, the, the, uh, the branch number or branch name as you have. Yeah. I will go back to the my repository again and then we're going to see the one more configuration that we need to maintain that is sonar hyphen project dot properties okay and even that configuration is also ready madely available for you which will you know yeah basically that is what you know the the sonar cloud tells us it is telling create a configuration file in the root directory of the project and name it something like this yeah so i'm going to copy this so here in gitlab remember that you know for repository that we will call it as a project but in github we will call them as a repository. That's the difference. Yeah, I'm going to copy the content of this one because we need to maintain the configuration as it is suggested here. Yeah, so I'm going to go and edit the file and just do a, a, a copy paste. Yeah, and then what I do is I'm going to save the file basically and commit the change and save the file. Yeah, so with that, you know, we are done with the required configuration that you need to maintain to scan your code. Now, one more thing which we're missing is our source code. Okay, so since this is a demo, I have created a folder called Python code. Underneath that, I created some, some, yeah. So basically this is a, some example Python code, which will, you know, find uh, some, some like, and you know, just, um, you know, solving the quadratic equation that is quadratic equation. That is mathematical equation. Yeah. And uh, let's see, you know, if there is some error and I'm going to desperately create some error in here and, and we're going to see, you know, whether it identifies dynamically. Okay. So with that, you know, we have set with the required configurations. Now it is job, you know, now it is time to, um, you know, uh, run the jobs and, and and explore whether it is really you know scanning the code as expected. Currently, it is running because I have you know made some changes in the source code, right? And here you go, it has scanned the job as expected. If I go from the top, you know, so basically it created those image, right? And uh, you know it is running a command that is uh, sonar scanner on the repository. And finally, it is telling that you know, hey, I am done with my scanning, right? Now this result could be visualized here. So if I go back to the my projects. And here you go. So this one, you know, so it has scanned just a while ago. That is, if you see my time, that is 4.15 p.m. And here is a 4.16 in the sense, just a minute ago, it has scanned. And the result of that complete source code scan could be visualized here. You can visualize in depth. So okay, give it some time. So basically, it will populate nice uh, historical data as well. So far now, we are good with the summary of the scan. So basically, it summaries tell that you know, there is no, no, no other, uh, basically, yeah, basically tell that you know, everything is good on the source code. Now let me desperately uh, bring some, uh, yeah, so deliberately bring some some errors in the code, and let it see, you know, whether that uh, you know the scanning will try to identify it. Okay, so to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this file, and and yeah, so just going to edit this file and make um, uh, bring some desperate problems. Okay, so I will just add some like a a, yeah. So I'm going to just replace the a a value. So here is a a a value, right? And then goes, uh, yeah, so here is a A value as well. So I'm going to just replace with that. So basically, uh, you know, um, uh, the Python code standard, it tells that, you know, do not use underscore at the variables. Here we are declaring variable equal to one, something like that. Yeah. And let's see if that being, being caught 
in the in the code scan yeah so what i did is i merged the code to the main branch and that should trigger a build uh, that build it should you know should initiate the scanning of the code so if i go to the uh, uh, code and let's you know what does it it tells for us it's just a, a couple of minutes and then we are done with the you know the required job okay so this is how we actually um, this is how we actually um, you know the enable the integration between the uh, gitlab and sonar cloud and eventually achieve the you know the code sanity check right so code sanity check it does has multiple you know the towers underneath that that is bugs vulnerability hotspots code smells code coverages duplications okay these are like a standard checks that you will do on the code level okay so let's say that you know so basically this is automated in the sense it's completely end to end automated right so think about if you are doing it manually it's okay how much uh, time it will going to take okay that is what the automation you know the the strength is let's wait for this uh, job to get complete and we're going to see whether it has introduced uh, some bugs in the you know some some checks in the in the code okay so if i go here and refresh it uh, let's see you know the what does the latest summary says uh, uh, looks like looks like it has not identified um, uh, basically yeah but under the hood you know so under the hood what i mean to say is you know it looks like it is still catching uh, yeah and if i refresh it let's see uh, whether that falls under the category of uh, looks like whatever the change we made it is not an error yeah so to go more in depth you can also explore you know so like uh, go to the main branch and then you can go to the uh, issues sorry sorry go to the codes basically you can go to the codes and uh, if you go to the python codes and go to the python file so basically it has not identified any issues yeah i was supposed to introduce a code smell but looks like you know whatever with the thing that we introduced it is not making any sense but indeed you know so when all good which means that you know which is that is what we want from the you know the code scan yeah all right so with that note so i would conclude my demo here so this is how we do integrate you know sonar cloud with the gitlab for efficient code scanning yeah so finally um, you know with with concluding finally a kind request um uh, please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot so with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video